Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we will be discussing about histograms. In my previous video, I have already discussed about univariate analysis, bivariate analysis and multivariate analysis, which is the fundamental step in exploratory data analysis. Now, if I talk about histograms, I hope you remember the univariate analysis, guys. I have used the same data set where I have height and weight and the output is either obese, slim and fat. Sorry, fit. So if I consider the univariate analysis by considering only this weight feature, now over here, this is my weight feature. This is basically the points that is basically populated. And this one is basically my slim. This is fit and this is obese. Now understand guys, within this weight range, there's so many number of points and we are trying to understand how histogram is actually created. Okay. And what exactly is histogram? Now, suppose uh, uh, in this particular range, suppose this particular range is between uh, just take as 80 to 90 kgs. Okay. Now in this particular range, you can see so many points are basically populated over there, right? And you don't know like what will be the count, how many number of points are basically falling in this particular region, because there's so many points that are overridden over there based on the data set that I have. Over here, I've just drawn a small data set. Consider that I have thousand records and I'm just trying to plot a 1D univariate analysis diagram. Okay. In the Y axis, it will be zero in the X axis. I'll be having the feature. Okay, so when I see this particular points, it is impossible for you to count. So histograms will help us to find out that within this particular range, how many number of points are there, right? And based on that, a, 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 a building will be created, a, a bar graph will basically be created. Suppose uh, between 70 to 80, suppose consider this is my 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, and like this, all the values are there. Consider that within 70 to 80, they are around 10 number of points. Okay. So like this, a plot will get created with the help of histograms. And this value will basically be 10. This is basically indicated, indicating that within the bin range between 70 to 80, 10 count, 10 values are basically present. Similarly, between 80 to 90, I see more dense points are there. So I can basically think that, okay, this may be 20. Okay, this, this is basically showing us that what is the count. Okay, and like this, all the graphs will be created. Okay, all the graphs will be created. You'll be able to see this particular graphs like this. And that is what is basically histogram. You know, a histogram helps us to find out that how many points has been populated in the left hand side that is in my y axis is basically shows us the count count of the number of values that are present within this range. And based on that, this building is basically created. Right. And it is very, very easy to plot histogram. You can use matplotlib hist function or you can also use Seaborn. Uh, there is an again a histogram function for that where you can basically plot it. And always remember, guys, whenever you are plotting this histogram, it will be with respect to one feature. Yes, you can combine three to four features and based on uh, and again, not just like this multiple diagrams you basically have to create. But this is making you understand. And this is also important guys, because you see this when I try to create a figure like this, this looks like a bell curve, right? And this bell curve will be very, very helpful for your normal distribution to find out whether this value is normal distribution or not, whether this distribution is normal or not. Right. And again, if, if it is normal or Gaussian distribution, then you can convert that into status, uh, you know, standard normal distribution, and apply all the properties that are basically required for that. Uh, this bell curve is basically called as probability density function, density function. When I convert this into probability density function, it basically indicates that what percentage of the population are present at each and every point. Suppose at this particular range, if I see that this particular point is there, if I go and see, and if, if, if I'm converting this into a PDF function, that is probability density function, then here you'll be having some values like 0.1. This basically indicates that at this point of time, all these numbers, all these values that are there, it is somewhere around 10% of the total distribution. Right. And again, in my next video, I'll be explaining about probability density function pretty much in a very good way. Then after that, I'll be explaining about how probability density function is created. There is a concept called as kernel density estimator. So yes, this was all about the video of histogram. I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe the channel. If you are not already subscribed, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one and all.